Hello everyone! Welcome to our video lesson. Sit back, relax, and make yourself comfortable as we are going to grasp an insight about the institutionalization of curriculum. Now, keep watching! Before we are going to identify what is institutionalization of curriculum, let us first identify what is institutionalization. In recent times, many instructional innovations were developed in educational institutions. These innovations are the results of the efforts of individual faculty or some instructional support staff. It is also influenced by the institutional and contextual factors such as personal characteristics, pedagogies, curricula, and tangible or intangible dynamics. However, many instructional innovations have remained with the individuals who developed them or have been abandoned because of the lack of funding. That is why we have this what we call institutionalization. It is defined as a process through which innovations or novel practices have been made normal within the organization. Institutionalization would make these innovations available to other faculty and staff, leading to a widespread use within the institution. Routine and continuing use of these innovations would have or would make a great aspect for the school structure and culture. Curriculum refers to the lessons and academic content taught in a school or in a specific course or program. Jan Dewey defines curriculum as a continuous reconstruction moving from the learner's present experience out into represented by the organized bodies of truth that we call studies. The various studies are themselves experienced the are that of the race. Depending on how broad the educator defines or employ the term, curriculum re refers to the knowledge and skills that students are expect expected to learn. Curriculum refers to the lessons and academic content taught in a school or in a specific course or program. John Dewey defined curriculum as a continuous reconstruction moving from the learner present experience out into a, that represented by the organized bodies of truth that we call studies. The various studies are themselves experienced the are that of the race. Depending on how broad the educators define or employ the term, curriculum typically re refers to the knowledge and skills students are expected to learn, which includes the learner standards or the learner objective they are expected to meet. The units and lessons the teacher teach, the assignments and projects given to students, the books, materials, videos, presentation, and readings used in the course, and the test, assessment, and other methods used to evaluate students' learning. An individual teacher's curriculum, for example, a specific learning standards, lesson assignments, and material used to organize and teach particular course. What is instructionalization of curriculum? Instructionalization of curriculum is a process of curriculum change. It refers to a process leading to the stage at which an innovation may be said to have become a built-in or accepted part of school's curriculum. What happens during the institutionalizing phase in the curriculum system? Institutionalization in this model is the final stage of the change process until we start again with a better innovation. At this stage, the organization fully supports the owns what was once a new initiative. It can even survive the retirement of a person who first started and organized the innovation. The importance of studying instructionalization of curriculum arises from the fact that so many instructional innovations in schools either die through rejection or are so modified and assimilated into current practice that their initial identity is lost. In a survey of school innovations conducted by Huberman and Miles in 1984, only 30 to 40% were found to his ever reach the instructionalization processes. 
are aimed at identifying those variables in a school system which are most likely to support instructionalization and also those which are likely to threaten it. In this way, the success rate of future instructional innovations might be improved. Do we want our curriculum to become institutionalized? According to the statement of the Morlam, I read something few minutes ago that said, when we begin using a new curriculum, teachers want to get to the point where they have institutionalized the process so that it becomes a routine. My question is, do we really want to get to the point where our curriculum becomes institutionalized? Doesn't that admit that we want a routinized that what we and how of our courses so that nothing unexpected happens? After reading and spending some time thinking about it, this is at the root of many of our students in education and are making change happen. We want routine. We want the expected. It's comfortable and reassuring, but it's also damaging considering how quickly the world is changing. Content continues to expand at a more rapid rate every day. Students are more diverse and thus have differing needs, and society in general is demanding different knowledge and skills, most of which we haven't as an education system been able to address adequately. We need the unexpected, and though it's messy and chaotic, that's how the world works. Nothing of any real value comes in nice little packages. If you don't